Weight loss that actually works, over 2 billion people worldwide are now overweight or obese. But here's the truth. For many it's not about vanity, it's about survival. Diabetes, heart disease, cancer, all made worse by excess weight. You've probably tried eating less, moving more, maybe even cutting carbs or skipping meals. But if the scale didn't budge, it's not your fault. Because weight loss isn't about willpower, it's about biology, hormones, and habit loops. In this video, we'll explore what the latest science says about weight loss and what actually works in 2025. No gimmicks, no starvation, just real, research-backed strategies. Section 1. Why we gain weight. Let's start with why we gain weight in the first place. First, insulin resistance. When we eat sugar or refined carbs, our insulin spikes. Over time, the body stores more fat and burns less. Then there's leptin resistance. Leptin is your I'm full hormone. But in obesity, the brain stops listening. So you keep eating, even when you're full. And don't forget your gut bacteria. They help control hunger, fat storage, and even inflammation. Add to that environmental triggers, processed foods, chronic stress, light at night, poor sleep, and the odds stack up. But science gives us answers and hope. Let's see what works. Section 2. What science says works first. Time-restricted eating. Eating in a shorter window, especially earlier in the day, helps burn fat and regulate hormones. Second, it's not just calories, it's what they're made of. 100 calories of soda not equal to 100 calories of beans. Third, build muscle. Strength training boosts metabolism and burns fat 24-7. Fourth, sync meals with your body clock. Eat light at night, heavy in the morning. And finally, move more throughout the day. Not just in the gym, every step counts. That's called NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And it adds up big time backed weight loss tips. Let's get practical. Here are 10 weight loss tips. All backed by science. 1. Prioritize protein. Eat it at every meal to stay full and preserve muscle. 2. Eat in a 10-hour window. For most people, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. works best. 3. Skip liquid calories. Cut soda, juice, and sugary coffee. 4. Walk more. 10,000 steps a day, and especially after meals. 5. Do strength training two, three times a week. 6. Sleep seven to eight hours a night. Poor sleep will more cravings. 7. Manage stress. Try deep breathing or meditation. 8. Avoid ultra-processed foods. They hijack your hunger. 9. Track what you eat. Even writing it down makes a difference. 10. Drink more water. Hydration curbs false hunger. Start with one tip, make it a habit, then stack the next. Section 4. Busting the biggest myths. Let's set the record straight. Starving yourself doesn't work. Not all calories are equal. Carbs aren't evil. Exercise alone isn't enough. Fat-burning pills, mostly hype, often harmful. The truth. Weight loss happens when science and sustainability meet. Section 5. Psychological triggers. Let's talk about emotions. Many of us eat not from hunger, but from stress, sadness, or boredom. That's called emotional eating. And it's real. But it's also reversible. Your brain also builds food habit loops, like always snacking when watching TV. And ultra-processed foods? They hijack your dopamine system, making real food seem boring. The solution? Build new habits. Replace snacks with walks, tea journaling, and most importantly, shift your identity. Say, I'm someone who eats for health. Because you don't rise to your goals, you fall to your systems. Section 6, final recap. Let's recap. Fat loss isn't about punishment. It's about smart, repeatable habits. Your body wants to heal. Give it the right environment. One habit, one step, one meal at a time. So here's your challenge. Pick one tip from this video and do it for seven days. Comment below with the one you're starting today. And if this helped you, please like this video.
subscribe to Cognition 360 Health. Please share it with someone who needs real answers, because together, we're not just losing weight. We're reclaiming our health, our energy, and our future.